as a hairstylist, we all have women sometime in our career who really want to grow out their gray hair. And a lot of them don't grow out their gray hair because they hate the way it looks as it's growing out. So if you have short hair, medium hair, or long hair, it doesn't have to be a long, grueling process, and it doesn't have to be embarrassing. But what most women think immediately is when they first start seeing that white hair or that gray hair, it makes them look old. Gray hair does not have to be synonymous with being old and feeling old. And I really think all of it has to do with the way you feel, your thought process, your belief system. As hairstylists, we must come up with solutions to make women feel more comfortable and confident as they're growing out their gray hair. Because if we don't make them feel more comfortable and confident, they won't grow it out. They'll go back to coloring their hair. So today I'm gonna share three tips with you and how you can help your clients feel more sexy and stylish while they're growing out their gray. The very first tip I have for you is to wear hair accessories. And yep, you see it, I love my hats. So this was one of my things that um, I used to do when I would be growing out my gray hair. And I, I've always worn hats regardless. Since my hair is short and I don't have enough hair to put in a ponytail, I call my hats my ponytail. Sometimes I'm wearing it for fashion and then sometimes I'm wearing it because I'm having a quote unquote bad hair day. But regardless how I'm wearing it, it gives a fashion statement. When you have those clients who are growing out their gray, they can try headbands, they can try scars, you know, they can try some funky hats. All of these options will be great when you're helping your client grow out their gray hair. So for instance, a headband, if you have long hair or even curly hair and or thick bushy hair, you know a lot of times you see the gray hair go around the hairline. And that's the first thing that most clients see and maybe in about a week or two, there that gray is again around the hairline. So for instance, if I took this little tie and I just placed it around my the front portion of my hair. Now my hair is all gray, so there's no hiding my gray with this tie, right? So sometimes people put the little scarves over to the side. It just gives you a fashion state. You have a big head of hair and you have your hairline is gray and it looks like my white hair in the front. Then you can just pull it down here and still have your big hair, your ponytail, your top knot, or whatever you have going on with your hair and look fashionable when you're growing out your gray. So another option, you can use is a scarf. And now this is a pretty big scarf because I didn't have a smaller scarf to show. But for instance, like in the summertime, I wanna put on a little scarf on my head. Now this is a bit big, so you wouldn't choose a scarf this big, but depends on what size your head is though. <laughs> I have a pretty small head, but a lot of people tie scarves in a lot of different funky ways. Like, so if you're having a bad hair day and you just want to cover up your entire head of hair, a little knot in it. So I can rock a little scarf like this with a little knot in it. So this is a perfect example of how you can keep put a cute little scarf on and I'll turn around and just tie it like in a little knot in the back. Now you can use a smaller scarf, you can use a larger scarf, and just take some funky glasses and just rock, rock your look with some funky glasses um, of your choice. If you already wear a nice prescription glasses, you can just rock your look with some funky glasses. So headbands, scarves, hats, and any type of hair accessory that you think will help you hide your gray hair is what you need to do to feel more comfortable, more confident, and just work through this process of finally embracing your gray without being embarrassed, without it being a grueling process. 
So this is my very first tip to you on how you can hide your gray hair. So the second tip I have for you is to use temporary gray coverage products. So temporary products come in all different shades, all different colors, and you can find one on the market that definitely would match your natural color hair or whatever hair color that you're growing out of. So you can use temporary products and you can choose the one that is best for you. Temporary products come in so many different types of usages, so they're all root touch-up products. So root touch-up meaning that you're just going to take whatever it is, the spray, the powder, the concealer, whatever it is, making sure that it matches your color of hair and just lightly dust the product onto your hair, lightly spray the product onto your hair. The reason why I say lightly place the product on your hair is because you don't want a heavy buildup and you don't want it to look unnatural. Now the biggest thing about temporary products is that they shampoo out, they're temporary. So you don't have to worry about ruining your gray, you don't have to worry about dulling your gray because when you rinse it out, it's gonna come completely out of the hair. Now what I can tell you is that you want to make sure, like I reiterated before, you want to make sure that you're not piling it on over and over again without shampooing it out because it will leave a buildup and you know if, if you get caught in the rain or if you start sweating then that might not be too cute, right? <laughs> I was doing a little research and I found an article by this magazine called Birdie. So here are some of their top root touch up products that you can use while you're working on hiding your gray and growing out your color. So if you haven't tried these products, they're an excellent option for you to help you hide your gray while you're growing out your color. And you'll be pretty satisfied with most of these products because it's only temporary and you don't have to worry about it smudging or be careful if you're wearing white and you're putting something over your head. You definitely have to be careful with that. It's definitely a product that's temporary. It will come off your skin. It will come off your gray hair that's growing out. But also, if you, if you happen to be not growing out your gray hair and you just want to use something in between your visits to the salon with your hairstyle, this is an excellent option for you to use to help you hide your gray hair temporarily. The third option that I have for you is to try wearing your hair curly or a textured look. Try wearing a rod set, a twist set, a twist style, or any textured hairstyle to help so that your gray hair does not show. You can always put a temporary color around the edges when wearing these texture styles, but you won't be able to see the rest of your hair's new growth. But when you're wearing a textured or curly hair, it might be wavy, it might be curly, and it might be a kinkier texture. So if you have a big mass head of hair, then when you're growing out your gray, you won't be able to see the new growth on the inside. But the first thing that you see is your hairline. If you are working with the temporary colors that we spoke about previously, and you can use that temporary color just around your hairline. And then you have your, the rest of your textured hair will be just fine and you'll be hiding your gray. So you can take the first three options and just combine them together and create that standout look for you based on what you want to look like every day. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and just let me know have you ever used or thought about using or are using any of these tips that I share with you today when you are hiding your gray hair as you transition. So the last tip will be just to finally cut it, just to cut it off. Just buzz it, cut it all off or if it gets long enough as to where you're comfortable with the look. Say for instance, you grow it to chin length, your gray hair, or you grow it to shoulder length and you still have like three or four inches of hair, longer hair, just cut it off into a nice shape, a nice bob. Because to me, gray hair is more stylish when it has some type of shape. And when you don't have some type of shape, that's when you look older with gray hair and you're really trying to hide your gray hair. Most of the time, people don't feel youthful anymore. They make the look that they have and that they're wearing makes them feel old. But if you just take the time, work with your hairstylist, and come up with some type of funky, hot shape for you, for your body shape, for your facial shape, because all that matters. If your body is round or if your body is slender, you know, whatever it is, you got to love you and create a shape and a style that you can be comfortable with that's lower maintenance, cute, sexy, and you feel good from the inside out. So I hope that I have left you with a few options that you can use immediately to help you hide your gray hair while you are ready to fly, 
finally love you with gray hair. So the next thing I want you to do is watch this video right here. And lastly, make sure you download my top 10 tips of how you can look good with gray hair. And then included in those tips are Sharon's favorite things for gray hair. Let me know what you think about the top 10 tips for gray hair. Respond to the email and I would love to hear from you and hear your story. And maybe we will feature you next on the salon chat when we talk about embracing your gray. So until next time, take care, peace.